this is this. Okay. Hello, everyone. Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. This is the second video, but actually the first actual Bible journaling with me video in my mini five video mini series for Bible journaling with me, keeping it simple. So what I figure I do um, in this video today is a very basic Bible journaling page and um, I explain like my whole intent with this in the introduction video. So I'm not going to go into um, that, but we're going to be using very few products in each um, vid in each um, video on each page because it is keeping it simple. So what I did here was I numbered these scriptures, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and this is 1 through 6. And I'm going to use my mystery wheel. Um, I'm going to spin it and whatever scripture, um, you know, it lands on that. I'm going to do a Bible journal on the page on that. Um, I'm going to, I am actually praying in my heart that God will speak to my heart so I can share whatever, you know, thought that comes to mind when I read the scripture and you can be praying in your heart too. And of course we pray to apply the word to live out the word in our daily lives. So, um, before I go ahead and spin the mystery wheel, I'm going to share what I'm going to use in this um, video for this Bible journal page. Um, what is needed is some washi tape. And these are washi tapes I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, of course, pens. I have an index card. Mm -hmm. And um, some stickers from the Dollar Tree. I don't know which ones I'm going to use. Um, as of yet, or which one I'm going to use. Um, even though it doesn't always have to be connected to the scripture, it could be a general um, image, like a heart or flowers or, you know, um, a bird or something like that. But I still didn't want to choose it until I know which scripture um, I'm going to, what's going to, you know, I'm going to land on when I spin the mystery wheel. So tonight, um, Bible Journal and Page is really, is showing how you can use um, a, a one sticker, do a little piece of washi, some faux uh, fo stitching for a border, and um, put mostly notes on your margin, on your Bible Journal and Page, or whatever you're using. You might be using a um, composition book or a TN. So let's get started. I am going to, let me put this to the side. I am going to show me spinning the mystery wheel. So let me adjust the camera. It's going to be a bit shaky while I do this, okay? So, because I don't feel like taking the camera off and then going through all that other stuff, you know. So here we go right here. Okay, I think that's good for now. So I'm going to go ahead and spin it. So it landed on six. Okay, so we're gonna check and see what six is, but let me just readjust this, put it back down. Right, right there. It's good. Boom. Sorry that I had to shake it like that. Let me make sure this thing is in frame. Okay. So oh, so then faith comes by cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I love that scripture. Um, yeah, our faith is built by reading the word of God, hearing the word of God. Um, you know, you know, what you continue to listen to is going to have, is going to grow. So that's, that, that makes me think of that as well. Like what I'm listening to is very important. If I'm always listening to words of doubt or, or, you know, doubtful talk or negative talk, then, you know, my belief system in that could grow. But if I'm listening to the word of God and, you know, positive talk and even things that I say out my own mouth, you know, and um, the thoughts that I even listen to, 
you know, um, godly thoughts. My faith in God will grow. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And so I'm going to turn to that scripture. This is Romans 10, 17. I'm hoping that I have not, I, sh I like, I didn't know what scripture I was going to, you know, was going to pop up. So it's not like I could have actually, <laughs> like, look ahead and see, um, you know, if the page was wasn't done on the only thing I could just hope that it's not done, but now I have two other Bibles that have this type of margin. Okay, good. So, oh, right here. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually read um, from verse 14 to um, 17, okay? So if you want to fast forward, you can fast forward, but it's on my heart to read the scripture just to give um, a few verses before and maybe two verses after to just give some context in your own time and you can read all of Romans 10. I am praying in my heart, you know, as I do this um, and, you know, um, talking and everything so I can hear from God and see what he's going to share with my heart. She, um, you know, put in my heart to share and, you know, and not only to share, but for my own growth in him. So um, starting at verse 14, the heading is, is this, of this is preaching to a disobedient people. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You know, something that just stood out to me is that, and hearing by the word of God. So faith comes by hearing, but also our hearing is developed by the word of God. Wow. You know, sometimes, and you know what this made me think of just now, um, so how do I know if I'm hearing a voice of God if I do not know his word? He, my hearing is my hearing of God and knowing this God's voice is developed by the word of God. You know, and that's very important because there's so many opinions out there and so many religions out there and it could sound good. <laughs> And but it not be of God. So that's why it's very important for us to read his word. And I'm gonna share this this nugget because um some um 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 one of the pastors at the church that I attend, she made this statement and it confirmed what was in my heart because I've heard many times people um put pressure on people to read like Oh, you're not reading a book, a whole book of the Bible a day or, um, you know, like they, they felt that, you know, people should read a certain amount a day. And what I found that it would do to people is it will be this pressure or this condemnation will come if the person didn't read a certain amount. And what one of the pastors at the church that I attend, what she mentioned is what she, what she um, suggested and encouraged. She said, even if you can't read a chapter a day, read something, even if it's just a verse. Because some people get so overwhelmed because they don't understand what they're reading or whatever the reason may be. And they just feel like, I can't read three chapters of the Bible a day. I can't read the entire book of Psalms, the whole entire book of Ephesians or the entire book of Galatians in a day. So, and they may have been taught that's the way that you have to read. And then they feel so guilty that the enemy comes in there. And next thing you know, the person is not reading at all because they like, what's the point? So I'm, I want to encourage you read something. I started staying away from that telling people how much to read and st and stop comparing how much I read 
to what people read and thinking, okay, okay, because I'm reading three or four chapters a day or, you know, however the Lord leads me, that that's the way that it is for everyone. No. So I started staying away from telling people how much to read, but to encourage them to read. And so, you know, I just want to share that nugget with you. But anyway, so going right along to the journaling page, right? So I have some stickers underneath here. It's kind of bumpy. So I am going to go ahead and put something under here. This is something that you could do if, you know, it's bumpy. Uh, let me use like a regular book. Um, if you don't have um, something like this, you can use a regular book. So that's what I want to do. I want to use a regular book. Because everybody would not have that. But most likely somebody would have a book. So, you know, something like this to help you, um, you know, have a flat surface in the event that your surface feels bumpy underneath. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that like that. Right. Okay. So, let me just make sure I'm in, I'm in frame. Yeah, I'm in frame. So the first thing I want to do, a so simple technique you can do, is called faux stitching. I love this technique um, because it gives a border. And I, I, I usually use squiggly lines, but this is simple too. And um, I like doing it. So what you do is very simple. You just like make lines like... If you was using a sewing machine, right? And you would do this straight line stitching. Right? And you could do it in whatever color you choose. Right? And then I'm just going to go here. I'm not, I'm eyeballing it. I'm not using a ruler to make the line straight. If you want to do that, you can, but I'm not doing that. I'm keeping it simple. See, already you got, the page has some interest. If you know, already, already this page has a little bit of interest. In this video, we are not going to put any color down on the page um, in the introduction video I showed how um, I showed some items we'll use to put color on the page and we'll do that when we get to that because there'll be four more videos after this and believe me when I tell you it is not exhaustive it's not even scratching one 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 hundredth of the surface. It's just that that's all that was in my heart to commit to. But sometimes I have so many ideas, but and I really want to share them, but I can't always do that because you know time. You just gotta take it one day at a time. All right. So anyway, um, so now I put the full stitch in here. So this card, I'm going to keeping it simple. I have tipping cards. But again, keeping it simple, somebody may not have those type of journaling cards. So this is a basic index card. If you don't have an index card, you can use a piece of card stock or you can even use a piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do some full stitching on here as well. On this card here. I'm doing some full stitching. And an index card. This does make it a little bit easier to do full stitching on the top and the bottom because it has, you know, lines. Right? And I'm also going to turn it over and do some full stitching on the other side. So on both sides, keeping it simple. I'm going to keep saying that too. Keeping it simple. Okay.
Okay, so now, look at it. As simple as that technique is, you cannot tell me that it does, did not give these two things some type of interest. So I'm going to bring my Bible journal back, my journal and Bible back in. Always checking to see if I'm in frame. So the next thing is to use a piece of washi tape. So I am going to use this washi tape. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping that it sticks pretty decent. This one I know. Let's see this one. Um, let me peel it. So I did pull out some colors that I thought I may want to use. So now, so for here, what I'm going to do is put a piece of washi tape here, right? So let me cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna put a piece of washi tape here. You could, if you don't, if you don't want to block that off. I'm sorry, y'all gotta put this back. This is not working for me. That bumpy thing underneath is getting on my nerves. Um, so you can either put it up here. Sometimes I do that, and I'm gonna do that today. Um, right here. So there's a piece of washi tape there, right? And I'll put a piece of washi tape here. This is not the most, um, how can I say, stickiest washi tape. So I put a piece up here and I put a piece here. And as you see, that's already very, 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 very um, simple, but yet it gave it some interest. The page some interest and I have this washi tape here right which I'm going to put um what I'm gonna do is you know what I want to use a piece of this here I'm put a piece here do I want to do that um no, I don't want to do that there. I'm going to do, ooh, what is that in the back? Um, I'm going to put this here. I didn't do it um, to reach all the way to the size. And I'm going to put a piece here. I believe I'm still in frame. I should check though. Let me not. Yep, I'm still in frame. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I do not want to have to do any editing with this video. Serious. Okay, and I'm gonna put this here. It's smaller than the top, but it's okay. I'm alright with that. Right? And then I wanna take I hate what I was I don't want this to be dirty. Okay. And now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it. Oh, see Daisy, that broke on me right there. Um, keeping it simple. So I was thinking about layering, but then I'm like, no, I'm, I'm really trying to keep it simple. Really much of so. Let me, okay. All right, this, all right, I'm almost getting it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be very careful because this is not a, a really expensive washi tape and it looks like it wants to, what's going on here? All right, so I'm gonna cut this piece off because it's simple, but I don't want it to be raggedy. <laughs> All right, you know what? That broke off again, so. This is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna make the best of it. So, okay. All right, so I already, an idea already came to mind to, so I won't be fiddling with that. Okay, so then let me see. I have to move it over some more. Um, it's not sticky sticky, but it's not the other one has less tack. I should say that's what I want to say. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna move over just a little bit more. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so you see two items already. We have this, 
we have this. Very simple, um, but gives it some interest. So now what I want to do is put a um, a sticker, right? So remember I said in the beginning that it doesn't have to be like a sticker that is totally connected to um, the verse. It could be a generalized sticker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through these real quick and see um, what I want to put. So, yes. So you see this right here? These are some books. Um, they're not Bible books. But nowadays, Bibles have all different kind of colors. Um, here are some other ones right here. I'm trying to see if there's a Bible here. Um, faith can move mountains. There's a sticker here that says faith can move mountains. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to use this sticker here. I was so tempted to use this one. But, again, keeping it simple, this page is not supposed to have, like, a lot of stickers. Um, that's one of the, like, not saying that that's wrong, but this is keeping it simple. So, um, I need to make sure I stick with that. Okay, so, Faith Can Move Mountains. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this sticker right here. That's right here. Faith Can Move Mountains. It's probably going to touch that other sticker on top a little bit, and I'm okay with that. So, that's it. That's it. Now, I have this card here, but I also, so I'm going to use some little stickers here for the card. Right here. Do I have that one going the other way? Yes. Yes. So, I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put this here. This one here. Okay, that one looks a little different. One second. Oh, they are different. One minute, one minute. Okay, they're different sizes. I didn't notice that before. So, um, it's only one page. So, um, what I want to do then is, okay. I don't think I'm going to make a big to-do of it. One second. Um, I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put this one on the bottom here. And um, they got crosses here. And I think the crosses are even different sizes so i think what i'll do is i'll take this cross and i'll put it here and this cross i'm gonna take wait a minute wait a minute the other one is that size too or is it smaller same size and i'm gonna put this one here and i'm gonna move it up a bit This one's there, and then I'm, I'm going to tilt this one in a little bit and put it here. I think it's slightly different in size, but it's okay. And, um, yeah. So, that's it. So, keeping it simple, right? So, now, I have one sticker on the main page, my Babble Journal page. And then I have... Um, Wait a minute. Why does this look crazy? I got the thing upside down. Lord have mercy. Good Lord. How you... <laughs> it's upside down. Lord have mercy. I had to change the orientation of it. All right. It's kind of... You got to look really close. To see that it was the other way. Okay, good. It's right now. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Now, so a focal word. So a focal word, it could be a phrase, a focal word or phrase. So, um, 
I'm going to put, this says faith. I'm going to put a focal word, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to write it tiny, right? I'm going to write it like fairly big in my own handwriting. And it's where a little bit of lettering comes in. So, you know, you don't have to be um, fancy. Um, so I'm going to write build. Your faith. I T H, right? And then I'm going to put read and listen. To the word. Of God. G-O-D. Alright. So, you know, if you don't have the best hand writing, it's okay. Now, right here, read and also. Because I don't like that big space. I don't have to put also because N is okay, but because I don't like that space there, I'm going to, and also, I'm going to do that. So now it's really basic, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on with my purple pen and just do like some sketchy, just to give the letter some interest. Nothing, nothing fancy. You see, that's my hand right in. Um, and that's what you can do. And it doesn't have to be straight. You could do it in a way it's sketchy. And that way it don't look it don't look funny if your letters are off. See, build your faith. Read and also listen to the word. So I am purposely doing it sketchy of God. See that? And then I'm going to use a black. Very simple. Keeping it simple. You see that? Now, next thing is some notes. Notes could be whatever God speaks to your heart. Whatever he speaks to your heart. So I'm just going to put notes, but I'm going to do it in the purple. Notes. Right? And then I'm going to come and do this put a little and write some notes here so I'm gonna write um some notes to a note to self um when I read and listen to the Bible I in faith, right? Um, hearing God's voice um, will be easier when I know his word. It makes me think of that song. His voice can be heard in the power of his word. The mighty one of Israel. Um, I need to read the Bible daily every day read something read the word read some read the word read the word and um yes so right there i'm gonna stop that's for 
And look how very, that's very simple. But I like it. You see, keeping it simple. I have a, uh, have some decoration there. It's not a lot. But it's something, if you want some de decoration and you feel like overwhelmed by a lot of things, no. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be very simple and still look very nice. And then you have the focal word or phrase. Mine says, build your faith. We didn't also listen to the word of God. Right? And now I have some notes here for self. So every time I, if I go, when I go back in here and I read this, that's a note to self. That's a reminder. Now, what I'm going to do with the tipping card is this tipping, right? And um, what did I do? Oh, it was upside down. You know what, y'all? I'm tripping right now with this thing right here. <laughs> Let me turn it back. I had it right. It was the orientation of the card. Okay, it's all right. All right. Okay. It happens. It's no biggie. Just turn it around. Okay. So the back of this is going to say prayer, but I'm going to write my prayer here to God. So right here, prayer. P-R-A-Y-E-R. -E okay. Right here. Dear Father God, you can write out your prayer. Thanks for your word. I'm grateful to be able to have several Bibles and the freedom to read them. Thanks for giving me faith. Forgive me every hour. My faith. I know my faith grows as well. as well as my hearing your voice when I read your word help me to read I want to help me I want to write help me to always read I'm going to put that up here. Always read your word daily. In Jesus' name, I ask. Amen. F-O-X-O-X-O. -O -X -O. So that's my prayer. So God, I'm going to put this right here. Do a little bit of... Circle right there. And on the back here, I'm going to write. Ooh. That was a big mistake, but I'm going to go like that. I'm up. You see how I got fancy with that because I made a mistake. So I had to connect that. Um, <laughs> that piece. Make it look like, you know. Okay. And here's my R. Then here's my A, my Y, my E, and my R. Prayer. That's the tipping. Very simple. Very, very simple. And so I'm going to take some of this washi tape and I'm going to attach it. Now I have to attach it with this Dollar Tree washi because I said I'm not going to pull out. And I, so I am, so I'm going to do that with this. Got to gotta get it to stick somehow. All right, so let me put this like this. But I usually use the clear tape. 
instead of um, the color washi lately. Lately, I just use the clear tape to um, the clear washi to attach things, but I'm not no can do in this video. No can do that. Not this one. Okay, and so I have this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this. I think it'd be better if I do this. I do want to leave, leave like one eighth of an inch, so I could um, you know, be able to bend it back and forth. Right, so that's gonna work. And so I'm gonna cut off a little piece of this. Got the scissors, let me cut piece off. Right, and then I'm gonna cut a little piece off here. Up here, right, and then I'm gonna burnish that down. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take um another piece and do the back. Do I need to? Yeah, I do because when I go, um, only thing is when I go to do this card, this side. Uh, um, journal page for something is gonna you know be on that's gonna be on this side but I could fold it in so I'm not gonna make a big to do of that it doesn't have to over be connect it's connected but it doesn't mean that it goes with that page so I'm not gonna get all fussy about that all right and so here we go very simple I think I need to bring that over just a little bit more so it could be on the Bible page as well. So it'll be, a, you know, good. It'll adhere a little better. Yeah. So when I go like this now, oh, see, I don't like the way that's bending. It's supposed to be. All right. Um, let me see. Okay. That thing we go right there. Here we go right there. All right. Yeah, I don't want it to, like, bend the page. I don't like that. That's why I try to give that wiggle room. So, it won't, like, the, this part of the page won't be bent into the page. Be, be bent into itself. So, very simple. Keeping it simple. You see? And so, that opens up. And then, I can close it. And that's it. Okay, so this is an insert clip because I forgot to highlight the scripture. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. Okay, so like you see, very, very simple. Very, very simple. And um, there's some information I shared um in an introduction video about um you know the giveaway in a trade off for those that do the bible journaling with me series uh with pictures um and you know some other information i shared there so if you're interested you can look back at that video um yeah and i'll leave it in the description section because it's actually going to be six videos for this series or maybe seven because i'm gonna do i did the introduction this is the second video i'm gonna do four more simple pages and then i'm probably gonna do a flip through at the end um and some announcement about the giveaway so it'll probably be a total of six videos no what well, i said no seven videos oh yeah and maybe possibly eight if i attach the giveaway video to this i wanted to say um also too you could date this um, if you don't have a date stamp, you could just date it with your initials. So, SWJ. Now, I'm going to put 2, today's the 23rd, 2, 23, 20. Right there. So, it's dated. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's it. So, with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.